Assalamualaikum. I'm Zami. I'm here at the orientation for Yale Pathways to Science. It just ended. We were we were late, so we didn't have time to record it before. In your blue folder, I want to be sure everybody made note of this, is, is the application form for your free family pass to the Peabody Museum. I'll talk more about that a little bit later, but this is a good moment if you have not filled this out yet. Take a second to do this, and we'll have a collection box, not for money, but for these cards, just outside the door. Uh, and that way you'll get your family membership sooner because we'll bring them over to the Peabody Monday and they will mail your cards to you. So one thing I'd like to do now before we officially start our program is I'd like all of the Pathways to Science cohort of 2013-2014 to stand up. New Pathways Stand up because we're going to have to clap for you. We really, really welcome you as the youngest members of our Yale scientific community. I have a surprise guest for us tonight. Before we start our program, I'd like to introduce an old friend and colleague, Michael Moran, who is in our Office of Public Affairs. He's the Associate Director, who is going to extend one more invitation to you. This has been a great weekend, right? An amazing first weekend of fall on campus. It's been terrific. We've had family weekend. Uh, parents and siblings of our Yale College students here. We had a crushing victory against uh, one of our rivals yesterday in football. It's been a great weekend. But I have to say, this is the most wonderful thing to be at on a weekend at Yale. So give yourselves a round of applause. It's so great. And on behalf of everyone in the administration at Yale, I join everyone in Science Pathways in welcoming you to the Yale family, because that's really what this is about, that you are part of the Yale family. It's a pretty distinguished family. A.W. Wright was the first person in the U.S. to get a Ph.D. in the sciences in 1861. Uh, Edward Boucher was the first African-American to earn a Ph.D. in any subject in physics here at Yale in 1876, and down to the present day about a year ago, Justice Sonia Sotomayor, an alumna of Yale, was here on campus, and next weekend we'll be greeting and welcoming back former Secretary of State and Senator Hillary Clinton, also an alumna of Yale. So many distinguished people in this family that you are part of. Too hard. And I, I think it's really wonderful that you understand the, the group of scientists that you're going to work with, and Maria and I have the pleasure of working with, are the most 
most fun people I've ever met. I think that science is important because it makes things safer for us. Like, say you were working in a very dangerous zone, you would be able to use like robotics to help you work and handle the stuff there. Um, to summarize what everyone just said, uh, science is important because we use it in our daily lives and, you know, it just makes it easier. Thank you for your, your wonderful answers. Um, I just wanted to go over really quickly uh, what we were going